First of all, huge shout outs to Cityside, to Nikon Punch, everyone linked here uh, at the bottom in the info section, all the resources I used to uh, figure this out and put together. This is just a quick, quick recap of uh, how I got everything to work and it in action. And what it is, is OBS multi-platform scene transitions. Oh yeah. And once more. So uh, in order to get all that going, right there what I'm uh, circling in the desktop is the uh, transition auto key script. I will link that city side link to me. But uh, right there is the name of the scene. I didn't change it, but you can if you want. I'll probably do that later. City side it describes all that in the video. And you just hit run script. And I have it on my uh, control one on the, uh, num not the numpad, but on the top part. And the reason I don't have it uh, as a numpad is I don't have a numpad. So I had to go into here and uh, take all the numpads out. So it's just uh, on the keyboard. Because the keyboard I have is the uh, Chroma Tournament Edition and uh, my push to talk. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you can link it in the comments what you use. My push to talk was my uh, browser back button on the mouse, which I switched to control, my map to control. But anyways, getting to After Effects. Right here, I'm going to show you the preview of the After Effects project I have. All there are the clock keys and whatnot, all the resources I used to put together on the info section. What's really important is right here uh, is what the button you used to activate the alpha channel, the transparency. And what you want to do is hit control M that sends it to the render queue or uh, which is also uh, command M on the Mac. You want to set that to lossless channel. And you want to set that to QuickTime. 